Hi, welcome back to Wolf Millionaire's YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make money with your pet on Instagram. Making money with your pet on Instagram is the next big way to make some extra cash. Learn how you can start cashing in on your pet's cuteness. By now, we all know that Instagram has quickly become one of the best free marketing tools out there today. From big brands to models, actors, everyone is using this social media platform to try and bring in more revenue. People are now using their pets to make money on Instagram. Do you have a furry friend of your own? Then grab your camera and my Wolf Millionaire strategies and get to work so you too can make money with your pet. At first, it seems strange to have an Instagram account just for your pet, but don't be surprised if it takes off faster than your own profile. People love animals. Some people even love animals more than people. Why not take advantage of the love people have for animals and make your pet insta-famous? while you make a couple hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna go through a couple examples of different pet pages um, that have grown and received a lot of attention recently, especially in the news, uh, because of the amount of money that these pages are making on behalf of their pet. And it's really easy to do, especially if you have uh, a phone and a pet. Uh, that's really all you need. So um, the first thing you need to do is to make an uh, Instagram account for your pet. Um, and then, you know, start chroni chronicling your pet's life, um, trying to take cute photos of it that uh, will garner people's attention and engagement to follow and like your pet on Instagram. It sounds ridiculous, but um, I've seen a lot of my friends do the same with their pets recently, and it's pretty amazing how quickly an account can grow because people just want to follow um, their accounts to get photos or videos of their pets doing silly things, cute things, weird things. Um, and, you know, again, people love pets. Uh, when you start to create your Instagram account, just make sure that, um, you know, your account for your pet is just as awesome as looking as, you know, if it was would be your own personal account. Uh, when choosing an account name, you know, it's probably best to try to incorporate your pet's name uh, so it stands out in, in a crowd of, you know, animals on Instagram, not to mention help you brand your pet. Um, as you'll notice from the accounts that I'm going to show you in a little bit, uh, they all fe feature the pet's username in the user's handle, um, which, you know, not only gives it more of a, a life a life line look at the animal itself, but it helps you brand your pet's name on Instagram. So it's time to grab your soon to be Instagram famous pet and start snapping some pics of him or her. Uh, make sure that you use high quality photos uh, because again, you know, um, quality is, uh, is still paramount on Instagram. And uh, if you have a nice camera, Feel free to use that, otherwise uh, your mobile phone in good lighting will, will do the trick. Um, you know, there's no excuse for posting poor quality photos, uh, especially if you have a camera phone. It's really easy to get out in the sunlight or under a light uh, with your pet and have them do ridiculous things and get it on video or take photos of it to, uh, you know, show off your pet's personality and just have fun with it. Um, you know, capture different expressions. Um, you know, at different times of the day, if your pet does weird things when it eats uh, or when it's surprised or goes bonkers when you walk in the door, get that kind of viral stuff uh, on video and share it. And you will be amazed at how many people uh, will like and comment on, on those type of photos and videos. You know, everyone's pet has its own little quirk. So if you can try to capture whatever that little quirk of your pet is and highlight it on Instagram, People are going to go bonkers and consume uh, your your media, which means they're going to follow you and like your 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 posts. Uh, <clears throat> and at first, you know, maybe uh, you start off with one or two posts a day, and see how that does. And if your account continues to grow, maybe up to a thousand or five thousand followers, then maybe try you know two or three photos a day. Um, just don't go too bonkers, otherwise people will unfollow you. Uh, because you're posting too much and they have too much of your cute animal in their feed, which, you know, might sound ridiculous, but, uh, you know, you don't want to um, piss anyone off. You just kind of want to find that, that comfortable balance. And you can also see what um, some of these other pages 
are doing in terms of their posting frequencies. Um, and if you want to do one a day, then you know you can do one a day. Another thing that uh, I have mentioned before is hashtags, uh, and it becomes very uh, important here when growing uh, your pet's Instagram account. And you can use a bunch of different hashtags that uh, that resonate with in the animal um, animal kingdom. And by kingdom, I mean animal lovers. Um, you know, you should definitely use some specific hashtags around what type of animal yet you're posting, uh, not just single word. You know, if you're posting, uh, and you have you have a a chameleon, you know, just don't post lizard, post lizard, chameleon, uh, post the name of your, of your animal so that you can continue to brand its username and its name itself. Now that you have mastered the art of taking photos uh, and writing quirky, cute captions and using relevant hashtags for your pet, um, you know, hopefully you will start to see some growth. And uh, once you do, It'll be a little bit easier for you to be recognized by brands who are looking for opportunities to advertise with your pet. Um, as your account grows, you can definitely reach out to pet related brands, whether they're on Instagram or, um, you know, brands that sell animal stuff <laughs> and uh, see if they're interested in, um, you know, sponsoring or partnering uh, or advertising um, by providing you with, you know, whatever it is they sell for you to integrate uh, into a photo with your cat looking cute so that people can like and consume it and uh, everyone is win-win. Companies always are looking for brand ambassadors to publicize their products. So just make sure that um, you know you keep your accounts looking professional, uh, especially your, you know, your pet's account um, so that it gives off a professional look and feel um, which will make you more attracted, uh, more, more of an attractable option amongst the sea of, you know, other pet owners posting photos of their account and not making their account look as professional and clean as you are. So let's go into um, a couple of examples. Um, and if you want to see more, you can go to my blog because I did blog about this. Um, but I'll go through all the different Pet accounts. So this one is Biddy the Hedgehog. Hedgehogs are really cool. Um, even I like hedgehogs, especially um, Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega back in the day. So this is an account that's been around for uh, a couple years. Uh, it it's basically highlights Biddy the Hedgehog's life. Uh, unfortunately, Biddy um, passed away March 1st um, last year. So this account has um, remained open, uh, posting photos of you know this beloved cute little hedgehog in you know various positions various settings uh, looks like they did some traveling with them they did some themed posts for Halloween all these kinds of things are most likely things that you already do with your pet um, because a pet is such an integral part of your life they seem to celebrate all the same kind of celebrations and uh, milestones in your life so you know integrate your pets uh, if you have multiple pets and uh, you know, pair it up with a, a clever short caption, or if you want to write a longer caption, you can. But you can start off with just short, um, very short, descriptive, you know, well-written, proper English captions with a couple of hashtags um, until you really ease into it. So don't stress out about having to write, you know, a, a paragraph for a story every time. Although, again, if you love your pet, there's a pretty good chance that uh, it's going to come very easy to you. So after Biddy the Hedgehog, we have. Hamilton the hipster cat. I'm not really a, a cat fan, um, partially because I'm allergic to them, but I just also think that uh, if I was going to get a pet, it would be a dog. So here's Hamilton the hipster cat. It's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty hilarious account. Um, this cat actually looks interesting. I would say cute, but I don't want to go too far. Uh, but he definitely likes to fool around, and this owner takes photos of him. You know, even with his sweaty running shoes. Um, and he still gets 17,000 likes in these photos. And, you know, these, these photos aren't any, anything super spectacular. So far, that Biddy the Hedgehog's account had the most scenic photos. Um, and yet, these photos of Hamilton the Hipster Caps, like 25,000 likes. It's ridiculous. Um, you know, they've only posted 350 
photos or videos of this cat so far. It has almost half a million followers and the engagement is incredible. You know, 30,000 likes, 15,000 likes. Videos that see 60,000 views. It's ridiculous. This person should be definitely making an easy, easy six figures, $100,000 to $200,000 uh, in advertising deals given his engagement and the amount of followers that Hamilton the Hipster Cat has. Uh, what's up next? Let's take a look at Oakley Aussie. This is a blue, merely female Aussie, one-year-old, extreme cuddle bug and peanut butter enthusiast. Adventures with her brothers, with her brother in Canada. So let's take a quick look. As we can see, it's all photos of the dog. <laughs> Pretty cool, you know. Happy Easter. Mix it up with some other dogs when he's out playing with them. We've got a St. Patty's Day themed Aussie. Some sunset Aussies. And uh, looks like they're already doing some monetization, as you can see here. 10% um, off a new Barbox subscription with the code Oakley. Uh, I'm sure if we go and look at their profile, they probably have a link in their URL. They don't, which they should be monetizing. They should be making use of the URL, uh, whether, you know, driving followers to an affiliate link or to, um, you know, some deal that they've made with someone else who's interested in um, pet owner clicks to sell stuff. This person only has 40,000 followers um, and has posted a thousand photos, but um, you know, the account is probably less than a year old given that the pet here uh, is, you know, about a year old. So this is really good. And uh, you know, even though there's not a hundred thousand followers like the last account we looked at, uh, the photos are very well done. Uh, they're, you know, professionally, they look like they've taken a little bit of time to take them with their pet, which is, you know, always a good thing and will always help you get um, extra engagement. So let's take a look at uh, what other pets we have here. Men's Wear Dog, uh, 250,000 photos, the most stylish dog in the world, author of the new classics on sale now, menswearedog.com. And as you can see, this pet owner has um, taken the liberty of dressing his dog up in uh, multiple outfits. Amazing. Um, you know, Kurt Cobain themed uh, dress your dog up. Um, 22,000 views for this video. And the dog looks extremely patient while he is filming him. So you can see you can do a bunch of different creative stuff. You know, bring him on set with you if you're a model. Get some cool photos with uh, him and some hot models. You know, dress him up with a, with a hat like he's going out in the sun. Playboy style. You name it. As you can see, endless fun, and uh, you're probably already taking this kind of time with your pet, playing around with your pet. So, you know, stage up some cool photos, create an Instagram account, and uh, share his life and your enjoyment of him as a pet in your life uh, with others. And you will be surprised at how many people will follow you. This one only has 450 posts. Um, and then let's just take a quick look here. This account is. Well, wow, maybe posting every other day, six days ago, five days ago, April 14th. So, you know, not even every day. And he still does 6,000 some likes per post, which is nice and consistent. 8,000, 7,000. Who else do we have to look at? Uh, oh, look at this. Pumpkin the raccoon. Okay? Now we have raccoons are the new cool pets to have, apparently, right after pigs. Blows my mind. But if you have a raccoon, you know, you're in luck because it doesn't look like there's too many raccoon Instagram accounts. So that's the other thing with, you know, bringing your pet on Instagram is, yeah, there probably is other pet owners that have accounts, but are they going to do as good of a job and be as diligent as you are? And, you know, it, with a little bit of effort every day, you can take a really cool photo of your pet doing hilarious things like snuggling with other pets in your family. Um, and make money from it. And this this account here, let's take a look. 750,000 followers, 500 posts. They all have a you know nice white, clean, crisp feel to them. Of uh, this raccoon just being you know a raccoon doing ridiculous things in ridiculous poses, hilarious. Um, and you know 50,000 likes per photo. It's incredible. 
This has a link to an iTunes book, Pumpkin Raccoon. Who would have thought? And uh, I don't know if it's free or whatever, but hopefully they're monetizing off that. I see like, you know, an easy $250,000 a year from an account like this. Um, and I don't really see too much advertising on it. So, you know, maybe this pet owner uh, is just purely doing this out of the love for their raccoon. Um, their, their captions are nice and long and they probably have stuff to say about pumpkin the raccoon and how cute he's being. This one's a little bit shorter one. So you can see everyone just mixes it up. Um, don't stress out too much about the whole caption piece. Look at this is just nice and simple. Can I please has another like, you know, the play on the whole whatever the hell went around that whole I has cheeseburger cat shit. Um, so that's pumpkin the raccoon. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, really cool photos. And uh, looks like he's growing very fast. So get on the raccoon train if you have a raccoon. 176,000 people watched this video of him, you know, wrecking a little squeaky mouse doll. It's hilarious. And, uh, you know, with that kind of engagement, you can make a lot of money. And who else do we have? We have one more. Ah, uh, yes, the famous Smushball, Dan Bilzerian's. Um, doll face Persian cat I think that's what it's called super cute always looks kind of scruffy and grumpy which uh, is definitely kind of my mood lately but uh, look at this this is hilarious you know I don't really like looking at these photos I definitely don't go out of my way to look at pet photos but these are just hilarious um, and he's obviously got another little pet little Penelope too and again just dress your your little cat up in capture him with silly little faces and people will love it people eat this stuff up 10,000 11,000 likes per photo and only 800 almost a million followers round it up um, so as you can see the raccoon is just off the hook people love that because it's so rare and so unique that someone has a raccoon as a pet you know they're getting 50 60,000 likes per photo it's insane so you know Create an account for your pet, make them look cute, make the photos look nice and bright. Um, take a look at these accounts that I highlighted here and see if you could find some others. And then, you know, just have fun with it. Post and experiment with different hashtags. If you're going to use a lot of hashtags, you know, put again two or three of them in the caption and put all the other ones in the first comment so they don't get, you know, so they don't junk up your, your caption space and you just keep it clean and tight and descriptive. And more people are, are apt to follow accounts that uh, that don't look like they're full of, you know, junk in the hashtags or junk in the captions. Anyways, this is how to make money with your pet on Instagram. Um, oh, one other one that I just remembered uh, is, no, what was it? Palm. There is a famous Pomeranian and the name is escaping me now. But... Go do your homework, find other pet accounts, see what uh, what they're posting, and uh, you know just follow along, mimic mimic what they do with their pets, and capture photos and videos of yours doing cute things, and see where you go with it. And uh, you know when you become rich and famous, just remember that uh, you learned it here on Wolf Millionaire.